Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I just have a cool short little anecdote here for you today. This is one of those things that I ran across when I was doing the research for my book on French military rifles, and it's something that it's cool and it's fun and I think you'll find it entertaining, but it wasn't really the sort of thing that was suitable to go in the book. Just kind of a, a one-off little anecdote. And you'll particularly understand this if you understand soldiers, and how soldiers will always be soldiers. So let me show you how the bayonet works on this Moss 36. Alright, so this is a really good system. It's efficient. What we have here is a spike bayonet. Pull that out. Uh, just a cruciform spike. Um, you know, your best balance of strength and light weight. And the end cap here just has, it has one lever with a locking catch. The locking catch locks in behind here, so when you want to deploy the bayonet, you just snap it in like that. And presto, you've got yourself a fixed bayonet. You want to put it away, squeeze the button, flip it around, and in it goes. But we know soldiers will be soldiers. What if you've got two of these and the Good Idea Fairy shows up? Check this out. What if I pull this bayonet out and then I flip this around and I snap both rifles together? Uh, now I can't push the button to take them out. Uh, uh, crap. Okay, so I solved that by not actually pushing them quite all the way together. But this was actually reported in French official in a, a French arsenal memorandum of uh, October 1951 that two idiots did this, and how do we go about making sure that it isn't a problem in the future? And the solution they came up with was you drill a little hole in the bayonet here so that you can reach in and poke it with something because. The rifles were already being made with holes drilled in the bayonet cap there. So if you have an idiot who does this, as long as one side of the bayonet has that hole drilled in it, you will be able to rotate it around. Oh, rotating the tube in there too. You will be able to rotate this until, there it is, until that lines up. And then you can use, well, the memo actually said then you can use the firing pin of the rifle to reach in there, depress the spring, and separate the two rifles. So they went ahead and added those holes to all the bayonets. I actually have an early one here that didn't get that retrofit, and you'll see it doesn't have that hole. You use this thing to lock two rifles together, and by the way, it could be Moss 36s, it could also be Moss 44s or 49s as well that use the exact same bayonet and tube system. Uh, you lock those together and you're really actually kind of in deep trouble. There's not much way to fix that. Uh, you can't take the nose cap off the rifle because you can't pull it off the front of the gun because there's another gun on there. Uh, yeah. So that is one, the sort of thing that you occasionally run into in arsenal memos. So a big thanks to Stefan, uh, who provided me with a bunch of the, uh, the original French arsenal correspondence where that came out of. Um, the book is currently in the final layout process. Um, we're looking for November 1st uh, delivery date as of this moment. I really hope we can keep that date. Um, if you didn't order a copy during the pre-sale uh, on Kickstarter, it is currently still up for sale uh, at headstamppublishing.com. You don't get the discount, but you can still pre-order a copy now with all the other cool information that you didn't know you needed to know about French military rifles. Thanks for watching.